He's fabulous. Oh, yeah. Hey, Paul, hey, like, yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he is, he shot all that. Yeah. Game. <laughs> He's like, I'm going out like yeah. me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh-uh. <laughs> you know about it. Go lizard. Go lizard. Go go. Sparks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he went out fabulous. He sure did. If I'm going out, I'm going out fabulous. <laughs>this evening's bad movie roast. Hulk Hogan, we coming for you! Yes, we are. <laughs> what? <laughs> you see what I thought you said? Yeah, he yeah, said exactly what you thought he said. Was that broken cheese? Yeah. Yeah, he said it. You, your ears did oh. not deceive you. you. You saw him crumble right there. Yes. It was like, oh. I'm... Yes. Uh, oh, <laughs> mean Gene crumbled or Booker T did? Booker, Booker T, T did. Oh. But, people, that is, that is uh, that's the rallying cry that we have for Hulk Hogan right here. <laughs> So, yeah. So, people, this is Suburban Commando, and I, did, you had my work cut out for me with this one. This one took from dusk till almost dawn to get uh, to get this done because there's so much to talk about with this crazy ass movie right here. Do you belong to some kind of army, or do you just go around doing good like some kind of superhero? Suburban Commando. Oh, people! Now let me tell uh, you something. Let me go because I got to go through this carefully. Set this up. <laughs> so cheap looking. Oh, you don't even know the half. Yeah. So one of the things that I that that I noticed after watching this whole film right here, I gave I'd stay to the end of the credits just in case there's some crazy ass stinger on this. Because I mean, this thing is loaded with gold in here. Now Mars said it's fool's gold, but it's gold nonetheless. <laughs> Let me share my my first time experience and impressions with this movie because I don't remember anything about this. I never saw it back in the day. Yeah, me either. Uh, the way I remember the trailer from when it was coming on TV at the time did not match up with what really was going on with this film. Now, this is my first impressions of the movie right here before I even tell you anything about the plot. So the movie opens up with this big ass cheap ass space battle that is a complete ripoff of Star Wars in the opening of Star Wars. <laughs> yes, the Mexican flea market version of Star it Wars. It sure is. <laughs> complete with a complete with a big ass Dollar General <laughs> Empire ship that's floating in the sky. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they, that's they, even the got, they even got the only thing that they didn't do is they, they didn't do the scroll. Yeah. To explain the, it, what's happening. The crawl, The yeah. crawl at the beginning. Did you hear the music? Dun, yeah. Oh, dun, yeah. Dun, 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 oh, yeah. Dun. How could you miss that? Everything. Oh. Everything. Like I said, everything. This is a complete Dollar General thrift, the thrift store. Flea market Flea is. market Mexican ripoff as Star Wars <laughs> that they got ready. Like I said, even from the, the that cheap ripoff version of the Empire ship that's <laughs> flying into the shot right there. I don't remember any of this. I said, what kind of cheap Star Wars shit is this? And it's so bad. It's cheap. The acting is terrible. The acting is so bad that people can't even, people can't even, uh, uh, can, they can't even fake being blown up. No, 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 just a couple of sparks. A light bulb was kind of <laughs> yeah, flickering yeah, right there. Like fart in his face. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Knock it off. <laughs> now, if you're going to rip off the spaceships, you're going to rip off the lasers, you're going to rip off the battles, you're going to rip off the theme, you got to start ripping off characters. So it's only a matter of time before they open up with their own cheap ass version of the Emperor. Rather disheartening, isn't it, Mr. President? You might as well have been feeding the hungry. You're this shit is so bad, my man was speechless. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he for, it's so bad, he forgot his lines. <laughs> it's always like, 
I don't know if I'm supposed to laugh at that <laughs> yeah. or, or look terrified. He's, that shit was so bad, my man didn't even, he couldn't remember the script anymore. The hungry. Like, God damn. <laughs> you know what though? He's, he's almost like, he's like, is that really how you're gonna deliver that line? <laughs> yeah. gonna, we're going with that. That's how you're gonna, you gonna play this character. Okay. Get, get, get the camera off my face. And, and, and he was like, I didn't know what I signed up for. Yeah, yeah. he sure didn't. He's like, he had, my man had this look on his face. Are you serious? <laughs> you look at it. He's yeah. like, I don't yeah. know. You, what, 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 you, what you want me to say <laughs> to all this? <laughs> yeah. like, what you want me to say? <laughs> Whatever it is. I mean, I, 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 Y'all I got, changed the goddamn script yeah. on me. My man said, I got nothing. <laughs> when Hulk Hogan, the star, and as the picture, things get worse because he comes in and immediately just starts breaking and tearing up stuff. And when he does that, when he starts breaking everything, that's when you get to see just how cheap these sets are. <laughs> now, now we got fall yeah. of all slower shit. Yeah, and now I'm looking at this, I'm like, is this a is this a Nickelodeon show? <laughs> yeah, it looks cheap as hell. And that's that's what I kept thinking. It's like one of those Disney Channel movie shows. Yeah. The guy that you saw that was that was speechless, as you see, he's the president of what? I don't know, the galaxy or something. Anyway, this villain has caught him and Hulk Hogan's character has been sent there to rescue him. And I have to I have to say, I, I respect the movie for doing this because Hulk Hogan's supposed to be there to rescue the guy. And it turns out Hulk Hogan's not even the real hero here. He's not a hero at all. In fact, the president who's being held captive right now, he says, you know, I'll save myself. Oh <laughs> shit! Yeah, 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 man. He, yeah, cuts his hand off, man. Wait, wait, was that an envelope he threw? That's what I was wondering. Because I was like, okay, is that a, that's the most extreme paper cut I've ever exactly. seen in my life? I was wondering why why Hulk Hogan is even here then, because not only did he not save the president, but when the shit really went down, <laughs> when when, they, when uh like when the president was in real trouble, Hulk Hogan said. Ran off. Machine, run. Run. Bye now. <laughs> All you see the bottom of those big ass feet right yeah, there. Yeah. He said, "The hell with this." But uh, he jumped well, to that more uh, star from. In his defense, he told the president several times, "Run." The president could see the guy was changing into a monster. He just sat there looking <laughs> at him with that oh, same yeah. blank look he had earlier. And he was being choked. He, his big ass could have helped him, but he said, "You know," he just said. Out. He said, "My my mission is not to save the president. My mission is to stop the the, the Dollar General the Emperor over here." So, so he not only does he abandon the president, but he jumps in his ship, starts flying away, <laughs> and he says, "Well, sucks to be the president because I got to blow this shit up." And kills the president. Hey man, he's now, dead already. Now I tell you, the, and probably the worst offense. In that whole scene, scenario right there is Hulk Hogan and his acting. You gotta have something on your books. Maybe a terrorist extermination. Okay, how about a big bug hunt with creatures that bleed acid? I was like, Jesus, man. <laughs> now, at this moment, Jeez. I'm thinking, so I'm putting all this together. And I'm thinking, you know, okay, Star Wars ripoff, cheap sets, bad acting, stupid looking henchmen. Bad acting, <laughs> you yeah. know. I'm, th I'm thinking, oh, okay, I get it. Hulk Hogan is a, is an action star in this movie, and this is not a real movie that's being filmed. This is a movie within oh, a wow. movie. Yeah, no, so yeah, and, like, like like last action hero. Yeah, like actually, like, like he's actually, you know, the, um, he's actually a guy who's filming a movie, and we're gonna find out that he's on a set right now. Somebody eventually is gonna yell "cut," and we're gonna see that. All right, you know, he's a. Uh, just he's, know the he's bad actually, acting action star. He's the equivalent of Schwarzenegger right, in this right, world, right. Or, or Sylvester Stallone. Uh, but, you know, I'm saying, wow, this shit is taking a long time for somebody to cut. And, <laughs> and, then, and then I'm thinking like, wow, they are really dragging this joke out, man. I mean, when are we going to get to the they to the reveal? You know, right? They're committed to the bit. <laughs> yeah. I was like, wow, you know, okay, I get it. You, you, can, you can yell cut now. We can get to the real world. And then we get to the real yeah, world. Like, yeah, let's, <laughs> no, okay, let's go to. ahead. Let's go. Let's go ahead, and uh, we can stop this now. And then it quickly, very quickly, became obvious. Oh, oh no, Earthlings! I hate Earthlings. 
Holy shit, this is the movie. This is the real, like, oh my God, this is the, you mean to tell me all that is, is happening for real in this film right here? All that cheap shit? Oh, this crazy ass story? I'm sorry, I gave man. this movie more credit. Yes, you the did. The movie's so bad. Yeah. I gave it more credit than it deserved. Hey, that's on you, man. It is on me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's on this. This movie, is, that shit was so bad. I thought this cannot be the real film right here. So obviously we're in for a terrible film. And judging by that rap music that they're playing. <laughs> if the man in the moon looked out on this place, yeah, this ball in space, we say face to face, who's look here? I'm watching this and it's like they go an extra measure they do. to be terrible. They do. That rap song, the more it goes on, the worse it gets. It's a nice place to live. But I would snap. Like even the, <laughs> yeah. even the rapper gave up. Yeah. The my, my favorite is bow, bow, yeah. bow, 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 bow. <laughs> my, I love that the rapper just gave no rhyme in that part, no nope. chorus. He just said, nah. nah. That's Hulk Hogan. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it got amazing again. What? <laughs> yeah, that's him. But I wouldn't want to li- uh, visit. Nah. nah. Can, you go, can you go back, please? Yeah, I'm going. Oh, you got that right. I'm going back. <laughs> can you back the car up, please? <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a nice place to visit. But I wouldn't want to visit. Such a nice place to live. Nah. No, okay, no, that's not him. That's, that's the, him. That's the no. That's the other rapper. That's not him rapping. The the it's, it, but I wouldn't want to. That's him doing that. But yeah. the guy rapping, uh-huh. that is not Hulk Hogan. That no, is, no, 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 no. It's no, just him rapping. No, yeah, no, but the guy that rapping. but the guy that said nah, that's the rapper. Are you sure? I'm positive. Yeah. Wait. Man. So Hulk Hogan's the one doing the hook. <laughs> no, sorry. Tell me. Is he the one? Is Hulk Hogan the one going like bow, 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 bow? No, bow. no, no, no. They just just him. <laughs> I was hoping that would be. <laughs> <laughs> bow, 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 I mean, bow, 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 bow. I can't I can't say for sure that's not him, but I don't think that's him. But you're you're definitely sure. It's yeah, him yeah, going. no. I read that they they use him his voice in the okay. rap song. No, I can hear that. No, that, yeah. that's not him rapping. That's yeah. the rapper doing that part. Nah, nah, that ain't Hulk Hogan. That's the rapper. Yeah, doing that's now. the rapper doing that. I yeah. hope so, sweet Jesus. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because that's that 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 rap is a completely different person. You know, they think they're terrible. killing it. Yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> you know, they thought they were killing it in the studio too. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> I would yeah. for a visit. <laughs> yeah, man. The, the the plot for this, to my surprise, <laughs> is turns out that uh, Hulk Hogan is a real in the movie a real space commando. He's a, he's a guy that goes around saving the universe when they need him and. When he kills the president, they they t- the, his his superior says, "You know what? You, you ain't not listen. You did your job. You weren't there to really save the president. You were there to stop the fake emperor. And listen, uh, you probably killed the president because you need a break. So just take some time off. I have no other missions for you. Hey, tell you what, Earth is right right around the corner, right there. Why don't you go there, hang out, get some rest." And from there, you can guess what we have. He moves in with a suburban family, hence the name Suburban Commando. And turns out that the family needs his help because, well, we'll get to that within the story when we start doing the uh, our, our start doing the review. Because this thing with sub- being in the suburbs, even that is crazy. This is the craziest suburb I've ever seen. I would only add that it, it, part of it is that he's stuck. Like he has to wait. Six oh, weeks or so. Yeah, he's he charging can. up his ship. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that, oh, that's right. Yeah, because like, yeah, yeah. like, well, he said he hates Earth things. Why is he on Earth? Yeah, but I guess why? Because he has to. He has to stop somewhere in the closest place. I guess. Yeah, mm-hmm. and recharge. Yeah. And he's 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 clearly been here before because he knows most of the customs except when he forgets. Yeah, the <laughs> and that's. Yeah, he's, it's almost like he has a giant ass Tesla and he has to recharge. Yeah, yeah. For, for <laughs> six, six weeks <laughs> or something. Anyway. I love it. He he can sort of figure out these earth thing customs, speaks English and everything. Yeah. <laughs> and no. looks like a human. No, but, but that's every if, this is one of those movies where everybody yeah. in space looks like humans. Yeah. Because they can't afford for them to right, be creatures. Right, right. Except at certain points where they really, really need to do it. But No, you're you're absolutely right. The only time they ever did that right was uh Galaxy Quest. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um so once on Earth, uh <laughs> We meet the family that Hogan's going to end up our. His actually, his name is uh, his name is Shep. Shep, Shep, that's right. Shep Ramsey. Shep, the, Shep the space commander. Shep Ramsey the space. Shep, <laughs> Shep Shep the space commando. But we get to meet the family that he's uh, that he's going to be hanging with. Uh, 
We have Christopher Lloyd and Shelley Duvall, who played <laughs> Charlie and Jenny Wilcox. Uh, and he will be spending time with them for the rest of the movie. Now, being that this is suburbia, and we have this middle class family, uh, they're the typical movie, a sitcom, middle class family. Mom played by uh, Shelley Duvall, Jenny, she stays home. Uh, you know, dad goes to work with a briefcase in one hand and, a, and wearing a suit and some random papers in the other. Mm-hmm. But, uh, right. but then you got that. Now, here's where it gets lazy, because like I said, they just need to just get on with things so they can help them get to Hulk Hogan doing what Hulk Hogan does. And so they just put in that old, tired, lazy-ass sitcom subplot for dad, which is- Got a shitty boss. Yeah, yeah. well, no, like the whole thing of uh, ask for a raise. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's oh, always, yeah. in the, that's from the Flintstones to- <laughs> The Jetsons. To the to Jetsons. Be to, witch. To, 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 to even sitcoms we have today, you know. There's always that episode where you're gonna, hey, it's, today's the day. You're gonna ask your boss for a raise, except oh, this guy, he has a job here where Apparently, asking for a raise is a fireable offense. I'm serious. You've got to ask for that raise. Oh, now, honey, I march in there and demand it. I might find myself without a job. You could either go ask for that raise, or your wife could kill your ass. Charlie, get your ass out there! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> now you get my goddamn laptop. I'm, I'm not asking this time. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you now. Get your ass out there. Give me my money. <laughs> Shep, the space commando, he arrives on Earth, courtesy of shitty special effects. Oh my God. <laughs> People don't even say, oh, well, that was 1991. No, that was even bad for yeah, 1991. Yeah, <laughs> Even the special effects gave up. They're like, Shep is dead. Yeah. <laughs> the sound was good. Yeah. That's about it. So here's where the problem but the movie comes in. See, the movie can't decide how alien this guy is, how alien Shep is. <laughs> you know, it's it's a fish out of water story and they can't decide how fishy he gonna be in the film because when he gets into town, now when he, gets the, when he first gets to town, I get it. It's a small town, ain't nothing going on. You know, people get excited when some big crazy ass dude shows up. You see, it's exciting. All yeah. the all the girls, you know, it's uh, ain't not, ain't, you know, these yokels don't see nothing going on in this town. It's like just like where I'm from, Waco. Ain't shit happening over there. Right. Now, uh, you know, if he had landed West Hollywood, it'd have been like, All right. yeah, it would have yeah. been. Yeah, he go, he's going yeah. to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> people would have taken photos with him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Some people do have reactions that get a little crazy. What is that doing? The hell? So that dude's been looted by aliens before. He ain't taking no chances. <laughs> right. He's like, well, here's my thing. Yeah. Locked down. He's still going, hey, yeah. hey, hey, come back and fight me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You gonna rob me? The thing is, he knows enough about Earth to to do things that only experienced Earth people would know how to do. Mm-hmm. No, he though, like when he gets there. Oh. So when he gets there, first thing he does, he, uh, let me see here. Oh, here, it, oh shit, wait a minute, hold on. I didn't, I guess I did not pull this up because Eclipse came in late, but these are Earth things that he does. I'll find it here. These are Earth things that he does that only Earthlings would know how to do. Give me back my money! My money! Oh, great! Thank you! Was everybody homeless? Yeah, yeah everybody. Yeah, God yeah. damn, man. Well, everybody swooped in on me. Yeah, like, damn, it's not Vegas. I'm saying, but it's not a lot of shit. Yeah, I, I think she still didn't get her money back. Yeah, because all the kids. Because everybody took else took it. Well, now you see why. <laughs> now you see why Broom Man is acting like he is. <laughs> ah, shit, those are the same people that looted his store. Yeah. <laughs> still hanging around the neighborhood, too. Yeah, still in the neighborhood. Like, I ain't taking no chances. <laughs> he also knows enough about Earth to not only know what a sign saying apartment for lease means, <laughs> even though, the, <laughs> but he knows, not, now he knows the sign says apartment for lease and he knows how to find said apartment, even though there's no address on the right. sign. Oh my God. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's an arrow. Oh, yeah. you know what? You're right this about away. that. He, 
The arrow's pointing that way. Yeah. And guess where he goes? Simple, but so, so nice. So nice. Almost like paradise. He went that way. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you were right. <laughs> you were, you were, him just walking in the ocean. <laughs> yeah. Hey. That, that apartment, of course, it belongs to... Uh, to to Christopher, to, to, to Christopher Lloyd, to Jen and uh and 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 Charlie, Charlie being Christopher Lloyd. Uh, the thing is, uh, that apartment used to be Charlie's tool shed. I've converted the shed into a rentable apartment. See how it solves our problems? Now you don't have to ask for that raise. You can let things happen naturally, like you like. People, she converted that place <laughs> right. in six hours. I know, chops. She had five Mexican day workers waiting for his ass to leave. And the moment he was in the car and gone, she told, she said, get to work. They converted I, I, that like, shit in, in six hours. I, I, I got to give her props on that. Hell yeah. <laughs> he Not, went to work. He didn't even spend a full day at work. I know. <laughs> I, I, think came he, I think he came over. I think he was at work five hours. I got home and his shit was gone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it changed. She, yeah. <laughs> he came in there ready to work, too. It looked like an old folks home. <laughs> but he came in ready to work, right? He sure was. He was ready. <laughs> yeah, he was ready to take it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. It's a whole weird thing because she's ready to give him some. He's like, I, I, I'm not yeah. feeling it. So you're like, all right, I, yeah, I need to go to my shed. Yeah, you like, okay, I know what that means. You gonna, mm-hmm. you gonna want this ass? I'm telling you, <laughs> you gonna want this ass. <laughs> You might want to. Oh, that's why she dressed like that. Okay, um, yeah, because but okay, well, yeah. he didn't want none though. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you, you might want to get this relaxation real quick before you see what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. Yeah, because she, she, when he gets said, she is horny as hell, man. I just thought you sounded so sad on the phone. Maybe you need a little compassion. Oh, not today. Oh, no, Marty. Oh, oh, I'm, just not, I'm just not feeling it. Oh. Yeah, man. He can even look at him like, let me just bitch get off me. Yeah, he's right, like, right. He's like, oh, one point for the one chicken one. He is giving her nothing. Nothing. Right. Yeah, he's right. Man. Whole fish. Ain't nothing. He, he ain't, he's like, uh, he ain't, he ain't puckering uh-huh, up his lips. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's looking like, yeah, you took my shed away. I'm just not feeling it right now. But, uh, the, I can kind of understand where he's coming from, but we'll get into that. We'll get into that in a little bit. But the thing is, so he, the, this, uh, this apartment, of course, you know, he goes to the apartment and they, they rent it to him. And so he's just spending time with the family now. But this is where things get weird. So he knows enough to like function with Earth when we see him at the beginning. He reads signs. He knows mm-hmm. what apartment is, knows mm-hmm. what soda machines are, knows how to save dogs and all kind of stuff. He has Earth money. <clears throat> yes, to he pay does. For that I didn't even think about that. Oh, Jesus. He sure does. Yeah. So he's got Earth Earth bucks, but then he gets here. And so when we need some awkward humor, you know, they conveniently just make him forget things, man. Yeah. Like, or do not, not know what things are. Like, listen, I, I I might give him some things that he might not know. I mean, even people on Earth, we don't know everything. <laughs> sure. You know, my no uncul- shit, no yeah, shit. My yeah. uncultured ass does not know nearly half the things I probably should. But the mailman, he don't know what a mailman is. Oh, Mr. <laughs> To the point he's about to cut this man? He's about to gut the mailman because he thought the mailman was an intruder? Mm. See, that don't make no sense to me. It, it doesn't. You know, uh, <laughs> fake ass knife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's the hell. He don't, like, he, he, so he knows what a family is. He, he's living with one. He's living at the apartment. He's got, like you say, he's got money and all uh-huh. this. This man knows what a family is, but when he gets here, he just starts, just starts manhandling these kids. <gasps> These yours. Take your hands off my children. Like you too stupid to know how to handle kids. Like with the mailman, I could probably go like, all right, somebody sticking their hand in, in your right. pl- in your place. Yeah. And he's got PTSD. Is. He's, <laughs> he's been fighting this war, yeah. you know, and the dude's in a uniform. Hey, <laughs> but, <laughs> go ahead. But with the kids, yeah. you're like, all right, this doesn't make any this sense. This don't make no sense. But like, you might not want to stick your hand through a mail slot with a Vietnam vet. You right, know what I'm right. saying? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you yeah, might yeah. get it yeah, chopped yeah, off. Exactly. I'm just saying. You might get a dog bite that Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, but the kids, though. <laughs> but take these little <laughs> Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't just toss him across. Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised he didn't take him and cump the head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a black. <laughs> this shit yours. Yeah. 
Slam, slam. I found these two sneaking into your home. <laughs> no, no. Your boy got knives sticking at him. Yeah, yeah. I took care of him now. The throat is slit. They got a Texas hanging out. <laughs> he gutted him up. Yeah, he gutted them like with his knife. We saw a garbage, yeah. <laughs> Sneaky boy. Like, yeah. He found a way to just slip in. Yeah. <laughs> like, like he gutted them. He got to them before anybody could stop him like a mailman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> the box. Yeah. Like fish. These yours. <laughs> oh my God. You man, you ain't that stupid, all right? <laughs> I, I will tell you this. I do like the, that the movie does not oh have you come in, you get these, these subplots where he becomes really good friends with the kids and, you know, he plays, uh, you know, has tea parties with the girl or, yeah. <clears throat> or, uh, Helps her with her homework. You know, he goes to school and helps the kid with his bully. Yeah, you know, yeah. the kids are I, actually pretty non-existent in this, man. I just knew that that's what this was going to be. I was thinking like, OK, this is this is the the the, the earliest version of the pacifier. The, yeah. Yeah. And and to see like, oh, this ain't like no, that at all. These kids are almost non-existent. And when they do come in, he's usually like this, man. Yeah, you know but. these these <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, these kids come in, they try to be a smart ass and he don't take it. He don't care how old you are. Oh, no. 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 I thought he was about to beat that kid's ass. I know, I'll kill him. I thought I'll get, pull that, <laughs> snap. I'll, I'll pull that knife out <laughs> and, and, and gut his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, tell your mom to get you another skateboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to talk that shit. <laughs> Meanwhile, the next town over. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Actually, there's a scene where that's just orbiting. His yeah, head. I do remember that bullshit. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. I know he's strong. Is he? <laughs> yeah, that, again, they that's not even consistent. It, is it? it varies, man. When they, <laughs> how strong is how strong is he? When they need him to be. Yeah, he's as strong as we yeah. need him to be. How, the answer to that, how strong is he? Yes. <laughs> That's your answer. <laughs> yeah, and, the orphan. and the thing is, you know, these, these kids keep messing with him, man. Like it, like he just flung a skateboard them. These kids, these kids oh. keep messing with him. If they keep messing with him, he'll fling one of them too. Bye, kitty. Ow. Get your answer. <laughs> <laughs> Now, 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 you're now, now YouTube, you, I know I can never predict how YouTube's gonna feel about things, even a even a girl if she's a dummy. Yeah, yeah so it's clearly you, a dummy. YouTube, this is not real, okay? This is not child abuse. It's a comedy. I don't think in half the time you're so sensitive about things right now. And if it makes you feel any better, she doesn't even land on the ground. Hulk Hogan catches her. Okay, you see, she's safe. See, she's fine. Look that's at that. She's that, good. That's a funny dummy, she, though. She, she's safe for now. You know who that mm -hmm. little girl is? Yeah, that's the girl from The Handmaid's Tale. Yeah, Elizabeth oh, Moss. Elizabeth Moss. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. her. Yeah, you can see it. And even, Mad Men. Yeah, look mm -hmm. at that. She even, she's even polite. She says, thank you. Oh, thanks. So she's fine, YouTube, okay? Do not come in here talking about we're promoting child abuse. Do not come in here talking about that we are... You know, we're showing a, 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 you know, bad images. You know, not, we're not doing any of that. All right. So please, please, please do not demonetize us. Please do not ban us. I don't know what the hell y'all want today. The girl is just fine. Now, <laughs> now I, I can't say the same for the paper boy. Both are smart ass. <laughs> God damn! Look like, look like the tree is eating him right now. Not only did he uh, not get not not only did he not befriend the kids, and we had this real you know fake saccharine sweet subplot with them, but he didn't give a fuck about these kids. He didn't give a fuck about these kids. Didn't get didn't care about their toys. And hey, animals, if you want to talk shit, you'll get it too. <laughs> he'll fling it. He'll fling somebody in a minute, man. But it didn't even really. It was, the, the tree went like that. Was like, yeah. the, the cat, the, I'm sorry, the stuffed yeah, animal. I, I will say, I did laugh at, at that sequence. <laughs> he pulls the tree down so the little girl can get her cat. Oh, yeah. No, I, no that was funny. Go. Man, that's, no, there's, especially considering that it was 
the whole time a stuffed animal. Right. <laughs> oh, it, it was never a real cat. Oh. Hey. Not even in a close up? No. <laughs> hey, 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 Martin, it was never a real girl. Bye, kitty. <laughs> That damn dummy. I I, I gotta say, with with that arc she's flying in, there's no way he can catch her. No. No. They added that shit after the fact. He's an arc. She's flying. She is. That's a rainbow, too. He's a space commando, Martin. He did warp speed to get over there and get her. You don't know. This suburb here is the most ghetto ass, dangerous suburb I've ever seen in any movie. I've never seen anything like it. You can die just getting out your car, oh, yeah. trying to go home. Every day, Charlie, Christopher Lloyd, every day, there's a car waiting on his ass. There's a car waiting on him every day to get to, just to get home and go to his front door. Didn't give a f- having that door open. Mm-mm. And I say that they're waiting on him, but that car is, it's like Death Race 3000, man, or 2000. That car is waiting on anybody. Anybody to step into the street. Yeah, that, they're like, trying to rack up points. Wouldn't you not want to wreck your car? I mean, at the right. very least, of it, I mean, you know, maybe you don't care about human life or anything else. Actually, or, Jack or, Elam brings that up, in fact. Yeah. <laughs> tells them, like, why don't you just leave your door open? And they would mess up their car. They don't care about doors. They don't care about human life. They don't care about children. Shit, that's, there, there it is. Look at this. Look at this scene right here. They're about to mow this kid down. And I know they see him. Yeah. They, try to have a, they try to cut to make it seem like they're talking. Oh, ha, ha, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> they are looking dead ahead, right? going full speed ahead. <laughs> he, they were trying to kill that kid. Yeah, because yeah, that's a residential area. Hell yeah. That area. So the, t- the max speed limit it's 25 miles an hour. And they're going yeah. what? And, yeah. and, and they're going 60 at yeah. least. Charlie, he can't even go to his front door without the, the without his alcoholic neighbor messing with him. Weak strategy, Wilcox. Should have opened the door wider. All oh, these deals from strength is what you call an acceptable loss. Your car door is one. Your freedom is not. Bitch. <laughs> well, Jack Elam's so great. I was I like, know. I wish he'd yeah. been in this more. And, I wish he had too. And all these movies, though, you always have the retired military guy next door. Yeah. Like, you know, I mean, I guess he's living off a good pension or whatever. I mean, he's <laughs> always, it all on booze. He's always drunk. Like, they oh, had, yeah. yeah, they had Bruce Dern and, and, and the Burbs and, and, you know, and all those. And yeah, just so. lived, and just lived, Charlie, man. <laughs> Sitting in the front yard. Like, at a, 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 a broke down Jeep. That's a, broke pretty much a, a flower planter. Yeah, yeah, yeah a planter, yeah. <laughs> people, yeah, people driving crazy around here, white trash neighbors working on the car all day. His car's parked him in his front yard. <laughs> the, this man might as well live in a trailer park. Uh-huh. A trailer park would be so much better. He's speaking truth, though. Yeah, well, he is, but yeah, still. He said, yeah. let him hit the car. You know, let, he's speaking truth, but God damn, let me get to the house first and rest <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, but I see your bitch ass coming in every day. Yeah, every day. Shit. Yeah, you don't ever come back out. You go to, the, go to that damn shed back there, and he can't even go to that anymore. <laughs> damn he, ain't, pussy. he ain't got no way to tune out the world now. That's why he needs some Raycons, man. Oh, put those yeah. <laughs> Raycons, you put those in your ear, you can tune out anything, man, because they're so good. You know, and I'm serious about these Raycons. You know, I just got back from Turkey, traveling around, and you know, whenever I travel, I wear my Raycons, and I've been using them. I went, as, I was at a coffee shop today. Yeah. Had my Raycons in. I had the, oh, you know what? And when I was going to the gym while I was in Turkey uh, and in Athens, I had the uh, fitness earbuds. <laughs> they, they, they live up to the name. You know, no matter what I was doing, it never fell out my ears. They fit so well. So whether you're looking for some fitness earbuds like I have, everyday earbuds for everyday use, they got gaming headphones and earbuds, or even if you're looking for a speaker that, like these earbuds here, have a long battery life, Raycon, they got you. They got you. Here's the great thing about Raycons. I told you, man, I, I, I have had several pairs of earbuds that I've bought myself. Uh, they've sent me these Raycons, and those are the ones that I use. And they're my favorite ones. Uh, like I like the way they fit. I like the way they sound. And like I said, hey, listen, I'm not going to lie to you. They sent them to me, but I would buy them. But if I were to buy them, like you, like if you were to buy them, uh, they are cheaper than most of all of those other earbuds out there. You know, all those so-called premium audio brand earbuds that you hear about. And even though the price is great, Raycon still wants to be flexible with how you pay. So they do offer buy now, pay later options. 
and they have a very easy and free return guarantee on their earbuds. Speaking of price, I know you're interested right now, but just hold on before you buy something. Speaking of price, if you go over to buyraycon.com slash toasted, you'll get 15% off your purchase. That is buyraycon.com slash toasted. Put that in, you get 15% off your purchase of some Raycon earbuds over there. I want to thank Raycon for sponsoring this portion of the show. And as always, I want to thank all of you out there for your support. All right. Let's see where we are. Oh, yes, yeah, this dangerous ass suburb. So, so the, this suburb is crazy. And it just looks like it's crazy because my man has bad neighbors, mm -hmm. has really shitty neighbors. No, <clears throat> this, this, <laughs> this suburb, by the way, this white suburb, it might as well be the hood. Because <laughs> you can't, don't, don't go out at night. Uh -oh. you, if you got to get off of work, you better get off the work while the sun is still up. Because you go out there to the parking lot to get to your car. You might lose everything. You might get mugged. Hey! Hey! Come back here, you little weasel! Hey! Stop him! Somebody help! Thing is, that man probably has money. That man, <laughs> that man probably don't even... That man's in the suburbs like she is. He just stealing because he can. Just he something to do. He yeah. lives cross street. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's how you know where she can stop talking. She goes, I'm work. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's the opioid pandemic. I don't know. But <laughs> that man living in the burbs like she is. Started mugging her, man. And I'm going to tell you something. She got off easy. Because uh, if she had been in some other place at the wrong time, she might have got raped. There's a bunch of rapists out there, too. And this is supposed to be a kid's film. <laughs> yeah, I'm she's with me, man. Ow, help! I mean, this 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 is this is scary, you know. This woman this woman's crying for help, and these guys are like, come yeah, on, baby. yeah, 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 sniffing her neck and everything. I, I guess she's supposed to be a hooker. No, oh. no, she's a, she's no, she's a housewife. I was looking at the boot. Oh, she's a working woman. Yeah, she. I, I'm telling this is suburbs, man. Okay. I mean, but I don't know. It's a ghetto ass suburb. She might yeah, be some I mean, ass. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. But I will tell you this: <laughs> these things are suburbs, but look where they're at. But look where they yeah, the shipyards, but, or whatever the fuck. No, this at. is a, this is the, no, this is uh, so this is the the broken down factory, like right there, right in the middle of the suburbs, oh. where where uh, Shep, aka Hulk Hogan, is hiding his ship. Oh, okay. Now, I will tell you the cool thing about these rapists, if there's any cool thing about them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, there is there there and there is something cool about these rapists is that they are easy to take down. They are extremely weak. You have Charlie. He found. He found Shep's uh, hideaway, and he found his Nintendo Power Glove in his armor. And so, <laughs> power Glove, yeah. And so he put it on. So when he put it on, he decided, "Well, shit, you know, I got now. I got the power. I might as well be a superhero <laughs> too." And fortunately, he's there to save this poor woman from being raped. But as I said, they're very easily taken down. Through this whole movie, nobody falls. Yeah, no, e no. E everybody just lays down yeah. and goes, oh, uh, every scene. Yes. That one dude, he was going to sleep. It looked yeah. like he was going to bed. The only yeah. thing that was missing was a pillow and some covers. <laughs> Go ahead and lay down. Yeah. Uh, I guess the stuntman was off that day. <laughs> I was like, he hit me. But I ain't get yeah. it. Yeah. I'm yeah. This shit, I ain't about to hurt myself right, on this right, yeah, yeah, you got yeah. right. You better film from another angle and get a stuntman out here, get a dummy or something, because I'm going to lay down like I'm taking a nap. Right, my man, my man went that easy. Oh. I mean, <laughs> my man, my man took. He rolled. On the, he didn't slow. He too. rolled on the ground. Yeah. Slow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got knocked down and went slowly down to one knee and then the other, and then rolled over. The other one, the other one. Don't even do that last roll, man. Just yeah. lay down like you are. That's what the worst is because he went like this yeah. and then went. I'm surprised he didn't put. Like out, he was getting comfortable. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised he didn't put out a little broom on his way down and dust off the yeah. air. <laughs> lay down a neck. Yeah, yeah, lay down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, if you take these people down, in particular those two, you better you better keep them down, or you better kill them. Uh, take make sure they stay in jail because they 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 will strike again. <laughs> These two dudes are probably responsible for half the crimes in this town. Because mm. later in the movie, there's a there's a bank robbery that happens, and guess who's behind them? 
Instead of goofy ass music. Oh, Whitey and Santiago. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> Whitey and Santiago strike again. <laughs> yeah. Nigga, like, like what's that old, what's that hat that old top hat he ho- got on? Oh, hobo hat. Oh, hobo yeah. hat, yeah. yeah. I'm surprised there's not a hole in it that's flipped open. We got that, got that, um, that 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 old Lex Luthor music music from yes. like, yeah, yeah, do. 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 Oh yeah, that's 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 what, yeah. Bartling Henchman music. Yeah, what's his name? Oh mm-hmm. god. Yeah. Oh, now, Ned Beatty. Ned Beatty music. Yeah. yeah, and and Santiago, he's still doing his own. He, he's do still he's thing? still doing his own tired ass stunts. Well, I'm the one that figured out how the thing works, and I'm the one that wants the thing back now. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you didn't say he'd be here. You left the door open, didn't you? Damn, he is horrifying. Oh, Santiago, he still got his tired ass stunts. Now. I like the way Whitey attacked like a Muppet. Yeah. I think he actually used a stuntman for Santiago but right there. Because you don't see it. That's true. And he, and he actually rolled. He should have yeah. yeah, did. Yeah. But I can tell you, Whitey certainly did bring his stuntman. Because it looks oh. nothing yeah, like him. Right. right. Look, not, he went from a, that went from a, a, a 60 year old homeless white man to this handsome, <laughs> oh my God, handsome dude, young man he right here. He's old boy. He with, a, with a square ass jaw. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why they lost? He lost 50 pounds. And got beautiful. And got, <laughs> lost, lost about 30 years. And got hands to the motherfucker. Shit did. <laughs> he like, Just pick any old white boy. Dude. Exactly. Hulk <laughs> Hogan said, pick me up anytime. <laughs> It's almost like Hulk Hogan started to attack and White is there, hey, wear this hat. Yeah. He attacked him. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Wait, yeah. Wait, no, wait, no, wait! Oh. <laughs> Man, he landed with a thud. Yeah, he did. He was like, I feel like the desk was supposed to collapse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. almost like it didn't. broke <laughs> in half and he like, do Now, not only is this, is this, this suburb dangerous, it's just weird. Uh, it, it, in addition to muggers, robbers, rapists. It's probably the most terrifying of them all. They got mimes. Just mimes hanging out in the middle of the night in the suburbs. Man, that's this. what that's what got me. Okay, a mime, and you got a you got a mime gag you want to do. That's fine. Yeah. But why would a mime be in a in a deserted alleyway, like not even on By the street, himself. where yeah, he can make yeah, money to make right. money? Yeah, <laughs> he, you know, you, when you put it that way. A mom hanging out in the middle of the night in the middle of the suburbs where he ain't nobody there to give him money. You say, why is he there? To get his ass whooped. <laughs> Don't worry. See, around right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when this big dude comes, you look. <laughs> when this dude is acting crazier than you, you need to stop. Yeah, yeah, whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't know if you got that case in force. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, when this, Bond, see? yeah, when this big dude comes up and he tries to be part of the act, you, that's when you should stop. I'll break you out of there. (laughs) That's what you get. And the funny thing about this mind, he don't learn. That should have been the thing to tell him. Keep your ass inside at night. But no, not him. Hey, let me give you a hand. No, it's a real house. Uh, I was too late for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I told you. you. I'm going to help you. Yeah, now now you want to talk. No, it's too late for that. Glad I could help again. I'm staying in night. Ah, ah, ah. So it should have been in. Yeah, you should have been out in the first place. Yeah. But, That's it. I'm staying at night. Why the f- were you out here in the first yeah, place? But, yeah, but there's these these Looney Tune gags with the mime. Like, exactly. That has nothing to do with anything that's going on. It's so many running gags are yeah. gags that come out of nowhere. Yeah. They have nothing. To, no, and you're, right, you're right. Looney Tune. <laughs> he ain't lying. It's straight. No, straight up some Wiley Coyote shit that goes on. And that here, goofy man. music. Yeah. yeah. All do, that Bobby music. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pop I, mean, I mean, it really does come down to if we don't put these in here, we don't have a, a long enough running time yeah. for it to be in a theater. And this, as you can see, oh. with between the 
the rapists and the mimes, this has probably got to be the most dangerous neighborhood, the most dangerous suburb. No, the most dangerous neighborhood. This beats the hood, the ghetto, anything, trailer parks, all that shit. This has got to be one of the most dangerous places in America. And yet, <laughs> kids wander around at night with no parents. You're holding nothing. No way to win the challenge. He was holding nothing. Yeah. Yeah, like he got a gun. He got nothing. Yeah, what are you doing? He's, an actual, actual, he's an actual commando. I, I thought he was going to go. Oh, yeah. No, my gun. Yeah. Like, you know, you but know. He, no, he just. Maybe you know. uh, maybe picked up some things in the mine. It's just a random arcade in the middle of the night with, with kids in there. All of them. And bunch, of kid, bunch, bunch of kids in there completely unsupervised. Playing yeah. 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 <laughs> Little kids, man. Ain't a, ain't a parent to be found. <laughs> the running gag in there with my man stopping at the stoplight. Did, did you get that? I did not. I, this is As, Especially with, with the resolution to it. It was like... Uh, so there's this running gag with Christopher Lloyd as as uh, Charlie, he, and he he gets lined up with all these other old people, like they're racing or something, and they're all racing against this this stoplight. I, but I don't get it. That's what it is. Okay. That's what, that's what, I got yeah, that back yeah. 30. Yeah. They got to okay. peel out from that light or they're going to miss the next oh, one. But he turns yellow. Balls. Everybody else is like, fucking yellow light. You just keep going. He, 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 he to show. back up whenever he's done. got to show he's the, he uh, doesn't have the balls yeah. to do it. Yeah. Go for it. I mean, all of these older people do. There is a plot no, or no. some <laughs> resemblance of a plot in here. You know, uh, there's a. It don't kick in until like all this other crazy shit is done. <laughs> okay. it's like it don't kick in until about thirty minutes before the movie's finished. Yeah, it's like an hour has gone by of just random stuff, and thirty minutes like, oh yeah, we should be telling some kind of story. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, this is what we're really here for. Whoa, yeah. What? All right. Yeah. Some something something resembling a plot kicks in around an hour in. Uh, so they got these uh, bounty hunters that are in there to stop uh, Shep. And they will destroy. I don't know what are they, they going to destroy the earth or something. They can't get them, or they'll destroy anything in that path. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. One one of them is uh, <clears throat> what I, what I know is is that one of them is played by another wrestler, the Undertaker. Undertaker. Hi, right, gentlemen. You're just in time. Here's our man. We're trying to get a lock on him now. What is this old theme park? Yeah, I know. <laughs> this old theme park. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Western yeah. Western ass wanted poster he right got here. got Six Flags Look, and shit. Yeah, the Six Flags. like somebody had a coloring book right they here. They could not do less work on that wanted poster. Yeah, I <laughs> Jesus. You're right. It looks like it comes it out of a coloring book. It looks like a coloring book. book. It does. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. out of a goddamn Xerox yeah. machine. Yeah. Dot, dot, dot matrix printer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dot, yeah. perfect. So it does. And these bounty hunters, so here's the, the Undertaker and the other guy. And that's all they do, man. That's all, the, the movie, they don't do, they don't do anything. They they walk around, mean mugging, and they, then every now and then they stop to just kind of glance at each other. And they got, you know, gadgets too. Jet right. boots. Jet the other boots. big guys, one that played every big guy in the 90s. Yeah. He was in Mr. Destiny mm. and other, lots of other movies where, mm. you know, yeah. the cooler. So this is where the movie just gets weird because this is where it really does turn into a cartoon. Now, I mean, <laughs> it, it, seriously, you know what I'm saying? Like all of this is cartoon gags. Like uh, this is really, th this is stuff you see, you know, we keep saying this, but Looney Tunes, mm. you know, uh, uh which means when they start doing these gags, it just means that they're concentrating more on the gags and then the, than the action because they ain't really got that much money to do anything. So that just means that these bounty hunters suck. You know, y'all could have shot him at any time. That is a naked gun joke if I've ever seen uh, that. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sure, Ex yeah. Except in a naked gun, they know how to do it quickly. Right. Yeah. So, so you, <laughs> yeah, you get kind true. of a chuckle out of it and go home. <laughs> sure does. Moving. And but no, you know they got more Looney Tune gags to do right here. Like like I said, he's I oh, you know why he got these bounty hunters in here, man. They ain't do shit. Get one going through the floor. The yeah. other one, the other one's going through. Yeah, which one he gonna? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gonna go. One, one go, one go down. One gotta go up. He's like Norman Desmond from...
the boulevard. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Just go through the goddamn roof, you big yeah. Right, oh, right. Yeah, but they, you know, they dragging him across the floor. Yeah. And just turn the camera side. Oh, it's <laughs> true. Yeah, I think my... <laughs> like, be, it's like, man, look, we're, we're, let's get this movie done with. You know, just just hurry up. Because they, 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 now they're just wasting time with jokes like this. You're a dead man, Ramsey. He's like, what the f Yeah. <laughs> Even he's like, where, yeah, where wait, did that wait, come what? from? Yeah. Like, and I, uh, you know. That's the best acting he did the whole movie. Sure is. <laughs> that, 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 that reaction <laughs> shot, I was like, sure okay. Is. He does he, look he genuinely was, surprised yeah. there. Like they didn't tell him <laughs> that's what they were going to do. <laughs> Somebody said, must have said, good job. Huh? Uh, uh, <laughs> really? And okay. then they finally said, no, we're going to be a cartoon. Be a cartoon. Then they start doing stuff straight out of cartoons, like the whole shape in the, in the wall gag. Game over. You lose. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Drywall. You know, I, was, I was waiting for people's arms to start stretching up, but somebody to get flat and pop up like an accordion. <laughs> or or, or get, get, get hit with an iron in the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. takes on the shape of the iron. Yeah. yeah. Or Chris Lord comes out as his character in <laughs> Roger Rabbit. Doom, yeah. Well, you Judge got a, Doom, yeah. you got a vet of uh, cartoon killer. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Some dip. Toon killers. That dip. Yeah, that yeah. toon dip. <laughs> Tuned in. Uh, so when the bounty hunters are gone, that's when the movie brings in the 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 main villain that everybody forgot about. Jesus. Bring, yeah, there's more. Yeah, they bring. I in forgot the, about this. Yeah, <laughs> they bring in the main villain for the climax. I said I don't do goodbyes. Ah, but I insisted sooner. With his flamboyant ass. I know, but I was like, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. I mean, the first time I was gonna make a gay joke at the beginning, I was like, he's like, no, 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 no. I got it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Like, save it for later. Yeah, I mean, you can't even cape and everything. Uh -huh. Oh, flamboyant <laughs> ass. Now, so we finally get the main villain up in here, but there's only one problem. The movie says, what time is it again? Oh shit, we got about 10 minutes to get to Harry up and wrap this shit up. And they just start speeding along, man. They just, you know, it, so. so <laughs> My man can't run right like the family opera. Yeah. <laughs> so things at this point, they just happen. You know, the, the, some, some, oh. some of the things that you expect. Like my man start monologuing. His name is Lord Suter or Emperor Suter. Emperor Suter. Emperor Suter right here. So he starts, he starts monologuing. They, they have a shootout. There were many gunnery bubbles on that ship, you know. There's a, uh, there's some nut grabbing that happens. Why I could crush your nut. And that's where Emperor Suter. That's where he draw. He draws a line at nut grabbing. And <laughs> he's like, "What's your number?" Yeah, no, and he says. When you, he says, I draw the line of nut grabbing, man. So when he's grabbing us, he says, you leave me no choice but to turn into a lizard man. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what he turned to do last yeah, time? That's what, yeah, he, you saw the hand, but this Yo. time he says, you know, you're going to get the full lizard man experience Perfect. right now. Yeah. <laughs> so why, why he chose to do that just now? Why he chose to be the form of a balding middle-aged queen, I, you know, I don't know. Right. Why, why they chose to stand around and watch, watch the transformation. Right. Yes, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. But thankfully, thankfully for Hulk Hogan, AKA Shep, the space commando, uh, thankfully the movie's run out of time. So they just got to get this done. So they just go ahead and just kill Lizard Man the dumbest way possible. It's funny, see, that's the funny thing though, because as a lizard man, why didn't you be why didn't you become a lizard man before? Because as a as a lizard man, he's winning. Yes. As a lizard man, he's got like lizard man power and he's kicking ass. Oh. No, I'm lizard man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lizard man. God damn it. Now I can be free to be myself. <laughs> it's funny because he's like, well, as lizard man, I'm not as fabulous. Yeah. I'm, as, I'm lizard man with a fine lizard ass. Yeah. I dare you. Get your ass off me. Uh, you better know it. But like I said, the movie got to get done. So no matter how powerful he is or how much lizard man power he has. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he got to get, he got to go. So they just go ahead and wrap it up and they, they just kill him in the, in the dumbest way possible. Yeah! 
He's fabulous. Oh, yeah. He's probably hey, like, yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he is, he shocked his ass with all that. Yeah. Game. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm going out like yes. me, goddamn. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. She know about it. Go lizard. Go lizard. Go, go. Sparks and shit. Yeah. I mean, he went out fabulous. He sure did. If I'm going out, I'm going out fabulous. They gonna do me wrong. Shit. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna remember me. Yeah. Shit, I would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even when I lose, I win, bitches. <laughs> y'all ain't... So, somebody turn that music yeah, up. Yeah. <laughs> See, I might be dying, but y'all can get these moves right here. <laughs> Do I hear a beat there? I'm trying, I, I think I hear music, yeah. right? KC in the Sunshine yeah. Band. Party. Yeah. Do you want to go? Party. They play it early in the movie. Oh, okay. oh they do? They, yeah, they play it. Like, it's on the radio. They listen to it earlier. Oh, right. And then they bring it back for this. Well, they play it up his ass, didn't money they? <laughs> I want you. Shit. I'm probably ain't a dance called the Lizard Man after this. <laughs> Grab my nuts again. Yeah. <laughs> they got that they could have been. That could have been, yeah. <laughs> Shep can leave, can finally leave Earth that he says that he hates so much, after even he though charged he, up his Tesla. after he charged up his space Tesla. <laughs> but even then he's like, you know what, I I got to love uh I got to love Earth just a little bit. So I'm gonna take myself a little souvenir. <laughs> a souvenir. <laughs> All right, ET, ready for blast off. Purely educational. Yeah, he got, he got the secretary of the of the of the company that this man don't even work at anymore. But, but Troy's got that look like, you know, she's got STD. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> but uh, oh, oh, and and now that Charlie's the real man, he can finally show that stoplight who's who. Or he's finally snapped. He's about to go on a shoot. Right, right. All of a sudden, all the cops are, woo! Clack, 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 clack. I saved the galaxy! <laughs> Days like that, Elizabeth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there, there's, there's other weird things I just got to point out with this movie right here. Uh, just weird shots. Again, just stuff to fill time, man. There's, so with, during that bank robbery, what happened was uh, Whitey and Santiago, they found a, a, a freeze ray uh, that belongs to Shep and they use it to freeze people before they rob the bank. But then they just start doing these weird cuts, almost kind of creepy, where they do these weird cuts of these people just frozen as the place is being, as they're fighting, man. As they, you know, the, the Shep is beating their ass. I got ya! <laughs> and he freeze. <laughs> Yeah, this is creepy, yeah, man. Yeah. Weird. That's horrifying. Yeah, that but, but, but plus it, it puts you a little on edge. You're like, are they gonna crash into one of these people and break them? Break them, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Just tear them apart. Whenever like, somebody freezes in a movie, you expect them to fall over and you know, and break. Shatter. Like they like shatter, shatter yeah, right, yeah. fall into pieces. Uh, and he freeze. And, and since these people are frozen, they take, they got one shot where they just. Like, they're just shameless showing you how cheap this movie is. I want you to look at the dogs in this scene right here. These damn stuffed toys. Yeah. They stuffed got... animal. They're not even a good stuffed animal. No. As a... I, that's not even like taxidermy. Right. That's a you toy. You could get away with it if it wasn't for those those eyes. Yeah. Those <laughs> eyes are like the eyes and everything everywhere all at once. Those yeah, googly, googly eyes. eyes. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're toy eyes. Or buttons like in they're, the Carol yeah, exactly. line or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you don't need the close up. If you yeah. have, if you got a shitty prop, don't put the camera right in the face of the shitty Boy, prop. They put the camera right in the Shit. face. Right of up in it. Look, look how close that is. I oh, mean, you said don't do it. No, oh, yeah. See, they got that wrong. Oh. <laughs> no, too late now. <laughs> I mean, maybe this, maybe that, maybe the movie meant to do that just to, <laughs> yeah, to, to be funny. As, I don't as, know. As a gag. Yeah, as a gag. Yeah, I don't right. know. It's that, part of the yeah, joke. Yeah, you know what? You made that mistake at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> in the beginning of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I should have did. I should have did, man. <laughs>